As we continue associating Genexus objects with the tasks of the reservation validation diagram, we will perform the interactive tasks, add customer information required for traveling, and evaluate customer that will have to be executed at the same time. This implies that we will need to handle files containing user data, such as documents, worksheets, text files, images, compressed files, and so on. The workflow engine provides the necessary mechanism to store those associated with the diagram, as well as their control and access security. The types of documents handled by Genexus BPM Suite are as follows. To use documents and process diagrams, First, we have to define them at the knowledge base level. To do so, in Genexus, we open the Preferences window, select Workflow, and double-click on Documents. Suppose that in the task, we have to enter the passenger's visa, which will be a JPEG image. We press Enter, enter the document name, and the description, and in the Properties, we choose the Image JPEG Type. Now we have to associate the document with the task. To do so, we open the Validate Reservation Diagram, double-click on the task, add customer information required for traveling, and set the property Work With Documents to True. In the Documents property, we click on the button, and a screen is opened for us to select the document we previously defined. In the Documents section of the window, we click on the button and select the document called Visa. Now we can select different actions for this document and whether they are required or not. In our example, entering an image for the visa will be required. So for now, we select the enabled and required boxes. We also select the update action in case we need to edit that information, but we don't set it as required. These steps can be repeated for various documents that have to be entered in the task of checking the documents necessary for travel, such as immunization records, ID card, traveler's insurance, and so on. In addition to what we've seen, we need to configure several options in the GXflow client, so we open the main process, Flight Ticket Reservation, and run it. We click on Server Settings, Advanced, and finally on Document Management. In this window, we set Enable to Yes. A window is opened with several options. We assign the folder C, temp, and upload path, and leave the rest of the settings with their default values. We click on Save. We return to the inbox. We run it until we see the tasks Evaluate Customer and Add Customer Information Required for Traveling. If we look at the last one, we can see that it has a paperclip icon which indicates that it has associated documents. If the diagram task that has several documents associated with it doesn't have an associated Genexus object, running it will open an application to work with documents. This will be our case, because we haven't associated any objects with the task Add Customer Information Required for Traveling. Upon running it, the following window is opened. Depending on the actions defined for the document, Various options will be displayed. Since in this case, we're logged in with the administrator user, we can perform all the actions. To create a new document, we click on New. We'll give it a name. And choose the type of document. We select the file we have on disk and click on OK to load it. We can see that the document we've just loaded is displayed in the Work With Documents window. If we go to Desktop, My Documents, we can see all the documents that we've worked with. Note that the GXflow engine manages a document repository. Once the document is loaded, it's added to the repository. 
For a user to be able to change a document, he or she will have to perform a checkout task. Once it's made, the user obtains a local copy of the document he's working with, and when he finishes editing it, he must perform a check-in operation. In this way, the changes are saved in the repository and a new version of the document is generated. Only the first user who makes a checkout can make the check-in of this file. Other users can make checkout to read the file, but they can't make check-in until the first user who took the file sends his changes to the server. Only the administrator user can cancel the checkout by opening the document manager and selecting more actions. The documents uploaded to the server can be digitally signed. This feature ensures the document's integrity, that is to say, that it has not been altered, and confirms that the signature was made by a user. The certificate that authenticates the document makes it possible to assign a validity start and end date. One more thing about documents is that it's possible to search their content. To do so, we open Document Management and set Full Text Search to Yes. The search option is available in the Work With Documents window, which can be opened by selecting the task and choosing More Actions, Documents. Once we're in the Work With Documents window, we can see the search selector on the top right corner. 